groups. Our very existence as a unique and indigenous people is at stake. Men ilahi yok, hiç kandak işini emirleştiremeyi, halit aş inak bokak kendi ki, men bu şu dünyanın sahnesi ya, yangcadi efendimde dünya ağlı çıkar, mecbur oldu. Çünkü bu yangcadiler, eğer kendi, yangcadi efendimden doktor yangcadi efendimler, eğer vicdanı özünün ahvalını ağlı talıga bosa, tiyememdi ki kalma felket çıkıyor ama. I try to work within the, China, within the Chinese political system to change the Chinese political system for the better, but it never worked. And as a result, I had no choice but to speak up about the injustice of the Chinese government. I was certainly in prison. Later, I was in, in exile here in the U.S. If I could have made the kind of changes, positive changes, I expected, like many others and many other Chinese and other groups, I would be still there. And uh, I would say the same for Dr. Yang Jian Li. If he were able to make the kind of democratic changes in China, uh, there wouldn't be the June, June 4 massacre in 1989 by the China security forces. And a lot of these fine Chinese Democrats would not have left China or escaped China, but continue, continue to promote democracy and human rights for China today in the U.S. <laughs> Şerkı Türkistan'da mutlak turumunun işini yaşa bakanlar. Ben bunun meşhur faka okulunu bir yerde dert yok olamayın. But uh, today, if you really understand the situation of the Uyghurs and other similar groups, you would see we live in really in a police state. Uygur hatta hazır, hiç anda sözünü yetişemez hatta. Sırtkı çekirdi çıkış pasport verişi o kokuduğunu bakıp uh, Uyghurs are, of course, deprived of any kind of freedom of speech to speak to anybody about what's in their heart. They cannot even leave the country because the Chinese government does not issue them passports to publish it. And the problem, the actual problem is uh, what the Chinese government doing is really inciting the Han Chinese population in our homeland to discriminate and even create inter-ethnic hatred so that the people, people uh, the Chinese people will support the Chinese government in any kind of brutality against the Uyghur people. And uh, I see that's not unique to us, it's the same in other areas as well. The situation is in general getting worse. So that's why it's so important for all of us to come together to discuss these issues and find common and peaceful solutions. So it is really how to change China from current authoritarian state to a democratic country. That's in the interest of all of us and also respects the rights of all of the and I believe if I only represent the Uyghurs and the uh, Tibetans represent themselves and other groups only represent themselves, only specific focus on our own cause, I don't think we can make that kind of democratic change in China. So I believe it's so important for all of us to work together as one uh, united force uh, committed in peace and in nonviolence uh, in our desire for democracy and human rights to promote that kind of change work together, cooperate together through mutual understanding and respect. And I think we can make that kind of change. Of course, uh, even Chinese officials, including Chinese Premier, Wen Jiabao, uh, was talking about uh, democracy recently. We're not, of course, sure they're for real or not, but it's really our job, who are in exile, representing different groups, to come together and work together for the common good of all people living under Chinese rule. And uh, it's also important for us to influence the people 
within China so that they would appreciate the importance of democracy and the freedom. Mesela Tibet, mesela Mongol, mesela Uygur değil. Bizim göğerdekmiş medeniyetimizin yok ak geçiş için bizli kuraşkın var. Bütün Cumhurbaşkanı Kıtay halkı mı bizim bu medeniyetimizi saklattırış için kuraştırış gerek? Uh, for us is, you know, for the Uyghurs, Tibetans, Mongols, we all have very unique and a different, a beautiful cultures. Uh, this should not be the, just the job of our three groups to preserve, but it should also be the job of the Chinese people and the international community to help preserve these wonderful cultures. Uh, we should be also be able to preserve our own language, our own culture, and way of life. I believe only when one group, especially the dominant group, you know, through love can win the hearts and minds of the other alleged minority groups, not through brutal force. And uh, we all live under the same authoritarian rule. We all suffer under the same authoritarian rule. Although our uh, situation is unique to each and every one of us, but only through our peaceful common struggle, we can all achieve our own great uh, democratic results. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, I'm afraid about other people suffering, not only you know, minorities, but other kind of people. Uh, nobody help you with the current system. <laughs> My question is, in the future, if China changes to democracy, uh, if there is a mutual interest uh, between you know, different, I mean, between Xinjiang and, and you know, the main part of China, uh, will you think you will uh, accept, uh, find a way you know, to give United and not uh, to be apart. Uh, so, if I if I understood correctly, you are saying when China becomes a democracy, do you still want to separate or still be under one part of China? Is that yeah? If there is a mutual interest, for a mutual uh, interest, yeah, to be together is better than yeah. to be separate. Okay. Yes. 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 Anelkin sizdenince eğer uçakta bir Kıtay Demokratik Devlet Polisi yani o kovulandı vermek kısa hem yani işe ile milletten oyun koruyu eki Kıtay'ın ameliyatı için senin bilgi tuğunanlığa yakışımı, ayrım tuğunanlığa yakışımı ya öz anlığı takır, öz anlığı takır, öz anlığı takır, öz anlığı takır. Ben de işinim hem de Kıtay Komite Demokratiyeye bir güzellik yavaktıda her bir milletin özünün tədirini öz belgeleydiğin ya da belgeleydiğin belgele sayılan hukuku aşk, hukukmayın aşk millet özü sayılan hukuku erişir, kolunu köpürüp nimini tələqqisi şunu verirdi. Demokratiya bilenin məzun oluşu da qaraydı. Uh, I believe when China becomes a truly uh, a democratic state, it should uh, respect the rights of uh, Uyghurs and other groups, their right to self-determination. If the people decide they would uh, and respect their choice, whatever they decide. That's a genuine essence of democracy. Yeah, you know, initially before the PRC rally annexed forcefully took over our homeland, uh, we had only 13 ethnic groups indigenous to the land. After six decades of Chinese rule, now the Chinese realm transmigrated millions of other groups. Now we have up to 48 groups. So the ethnic makeup has dramatically changed now. Yes, of course, you know, the original 13 are the indigenous ones. The rest are already incoming uh, people from other parts of China. But throughout history, you know, the 13th indigenous population to East Turkestan they have had long-standing good relations. And I believe if the Chinese government tr truly becomes a democracy and respect the rights of all groups, I think the people will make the right choice. I wonder uh, what's your uh, take on the uh, current rise of China? Um, both domestically as well as internationally, when the, China, the voice of China government itself 
is getting a lot of respect in the international community. So you know what are you know what are your strategies or you know what 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 strategies do you own or do you propose to peacefully resolve the current or the real problems that is uh, happening in your region? So is is that clear? So what strategies we propose yeah, we, uh, it, right now? Yeah, yeah, with the rise of China, no, yeah, with the rise of China, China in the world. Okay. I'll try to explain. You want to keep on saying, "I'm not going to allow you to shoot it." First, uh, it's very important for us to educate the Chinese people, now, to let them truly understand what we are going through instead of just listening to Chinese government propaganda. And the once they really understand what's happening to the Uyghurs and how the government is persecuting the Uyghurs, uh, they will have a you know, much better say in this. Uh, <laughs> and of course, at the same time, it's our job to raise global awareness within the international community about who we are, what we are going through. Uh, contrary to what the Chinese government has been claiming. And our hope is, you know, through such uh, understanding both within China and the international community, uh, it would be really good to have a peaceful dialogue with the Chinese government to find a political settlement for uh, our problem. Because uh, Xinjiang or East Turkestan issue is not a simple issue that the Chinese government used to think. It's getting bigger and bigger. So uh, it's not going to become smaller. So it's in the best interest of China to really find a political peaceful settlement. Uh, yeah, in addition to our population in East Turkestan, we have more than 2 million Uyghurs living in Central Asia. And we also have more than 200,000 in Turkey. We also have uh, tens of thousands in Europe and America. And uh, you know, the population number are growing. Outside of the country. And uh, the issues as we are witnessing is the more repressive, as a rule in other parts of uh, China and uh, the world, the more repressive a government becomes to a particular group, the more resistance you will see. You are witnessing that with us in Tibet and other parts of China as well. Uh, the more repressive, uh, if China doesn't change policies, then the situation will be unfortunately. Uh, it's also our understanding that the Chinese leadership is uh, also having a much better understanding that the regional so-called ethnic issues are not diminishing. They have become a bigger problem for the central government. Uh, if not now, eventually they have to find a solution for the Uyghur, Tibet, Mongol situation. Otherwise, the China's rise may may not last long. Who knows? Yeah, it's also our hope that the Chinese government will rectify the wrongs of Tiananmen. Uh, we see that being discussed in the official circles as well. Hopefully that's not going to happen. I think that's probably a change in China itself with the rectification of the Tiananmen Massacre.